Hello everyone and welcome to another coaching video for Assetto Corsa Competizione. Today we won't focus on driving skills or setup tips, but rather on something based on knowledge and experience that has the potential of giving you more than just few tens. It's race strategy. This is a very difficult topic to explain fully because there are so many situations that will be kind of similar but require completely different approaches. So I thought I would use one of my last races where I managed to win despite of not having enough pace. So this was in the VIP trophy of Pitskill IO at Watkins Glen. As all Pitskill drivers will know, uh, the VIP trophy races are 60 minutes long and require a pit stop for tire change. But refueling is not allowed. That means that you have to calculate beforehand how much fuel you need and make sure you don't put too little. Otherwise, you won't be able to finish or rather have to R2G. You can actually watch my other coaching video on fuel calculation to do it perfectly and also not end up the race with over 10 liters left, which would be like having extra ballast uh, the whole race. I would put the link in the description. So in this race, Manuel Benz, probably the fastest driver in the whole community, was the one to beat. He qualified P1 with me in P2, but with an almost half a second faster lap. So I knew beating him just on pace would be impossible. My strategy for the start was to stay in his slipstream for as long as I could and wait for something to happen. At this point, no real strategy is possible. I put as little fuel as I dared to have some potential weight advantage, but that was all I could do for the race, really. The first laps went well until I did a small mistake into the last corner and lost the slipstream during the following lap. But suddenly, the weather prediction got spicy and rain was announced. Just very light rain and it turned out only 10 minutes and it was almost 30 degrees ambient. So putting wets would mean that the last laps in the dry would be very slow. Also, the pace should not be much slower in the slicks because the tire temperature wouldn't be too low. So this is the first tip. The first point to take into account for your strategy. Consider the pace difference between wets and slicks when deciding for a compound. Of course, the wets are usually the safer option in terms of avoiding spins, but if you drive them too long in the dry, they might get punctured and ruin your race. Although this risk is lower with the latest tire hack, where you use maximum pressure in the wets. Not only that, but the pace is much better in drying conditions compared to normal pressures, which made the decision for this race really difficult. As a rule of thumb, I would not recommend driving more than 50-20 minutes on the wrong tires. At that point, pitting might be the faster option. But let's get back into the race. After I lost the slipstream, I was just seeing how the delta was growing until it reached around 5 seconds. At this point, I could just really hope for a miracle. And the miracle arrived in the form of rain. When having changing conditions, adapting quickly to the new available grip is the key. For some reason, I seem to succeed better at this, managing to recover a little bit of gap. Not much, but the delta was reduced to about 3 seconds if I recall correctly. When it started raining, I had to be quick taking the decision of staying out on dries or put wets with the pressure hack, of course. On the one hand, seeing that Manuel didn't pit for wets, going for an alternative strategy was a very good option to overtake him, because at this point it wasn't possible to know what was better. So going for a different strategy than the driver you want to overtake gives a potential advantage. However, there, you, there were some factors speaking against it. The first, the temperature was very high. It was during the day and there were over 30 cars on track, so I expected the track to dry up quickly. The last 10 minutes of the race would be a nightmare and I risked getting a puncture and even losing P2. The other factor was traffic. Pitting early when the rain started would mean I would have to overtake drivers for position. Even if on old tires, that would cost me time and minimizing, minimize uh, my gains on manual. So this is the second tip. 
slicks can still work better than wets if the wetness level is low, like greasy and damp, and the temperature is high. Similarly, wets can still work better than dries in drying conditions if the temperature is low. The grip is mostly defined by temperature of the tires, so try to use a compound that will be closer to the operating range in the given conditions. So I decided to stay out and wait for the right moment to pit. Ideally before manual to get rid of the old tires and manage to put some faster laps. The best point would be when catching up to traffic. This happened around lap 26. At that point both manuals and my tires were destroyed from pushing in the dry at 30 degrees and then graining them with wet asphalt. I saw he was catching traffic but knew that he wouldn't be willing to pit yet because putting fresh dries too early damages them due to raining. This is another strategy tip. In general, delay putting the correct tires as much as necessary, so you do your first laps on them in better conditions. That means wait at least until the truck is greasy to put fresh slicks, and wait until it starts raining to put wets. Otherwise, you will damage the tires at the beginning of the, your stint, reducing the potential pace of them in the long run. As you can see, both my pit entry and pit exit were quite on the limit. I even had to lap a blue flag car directly on pit exit to avoid losing time. But I knew this lap would be decisive, so I had to be as quick as possible. Truck was still slippery, but the grip was already greasy, so I could push a bit more. And it did pay off. I managed to overtake Manuel in the pits, I was really surprised myself about it and watching again what happened to him, he was held up a bit by lap cars on fresher tires or even wets with max PSI, I don't know. So some luck played definitely my favor there. But this was exactly the reason I was waiting to catch up with uh, traffic for pitting. So I could lap in clean air while he couldn't push as much because of the tires and because of the traffic. This was definitely a very good race for me in terms of driving, but I still didn't have the raw pace to take the win home with this alone. So strategy and luck was decisive to actually win. After overtaking, it was of course necessary to drive quick without mistakes, but I knew at this track it is almost impossible to overtake without a mistake from the car ahead, especially being in the same car. So I just focus on keeping calm and push cautiously in the changing grip as the truck was getting faster and faster every lap. I even managed to put my fastest lap during that last stint while the grip was fast, as my fuel load was much slower. The blue flag cars we encountered in our last lap succeeded very well in not interfering in our battle, so big thanks to them. And for the record, I had plenty of fuel left, around one, two laps, I think, because the pace in the wet was significantly lower, but the consumption similar, so we did less laps than I calculated. Hope you enjoyed this little racing story. If you did, make sure to leave a like for another one like this. And big props to Manuel Benz for being so insanely quick and in pushing and helping everyone at Pitskill to get faster. Make sure to also join our community if you want to learn from the best. I'm gonna leave some useful links in the description for that. See you next time, folks!